the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Hallelujah. In the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Just, just a moment, let me have your attention first and just foremost. Just a moment, je voudrais avoir votre attention, s'il vous plaît. I want you to know that I am glad and honored to be in Cameroon. Je voudrais que vous sachiez que je suis content et honoré d'être au Cameroon. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Second of all, I, I together want us to bless the Lord for Dr. Paul and his dear wife. Please give Et deuxièmement, je voudrais que nous bénissions le Seigneur pour le Dr. Paul et sa chère épouse. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then, let me honor and truly celebrate every man and every woman of God here. Et je voudrais honorer et véritablement let's, célébrer tous les hommes et toutes femmes de Dieu ici. Servants of God here represented who labor in word and in doctrine hallelujah et nous bénissons le seigneur pour les pères dans le seigneur qui ont travaillé dans la parole et dans la doctrine hallelujah i believe with all my heart that these are very prophetic moments et je crois de tout mon cœur que ces moments sont des moments très prophétiques and i also believe with all my heart that what god is beginning tonight like dr rightly said would go across the length and the breath of the entire nation of Cameroon. Et je crois aussi comme le docteur l'a dit au préalable que ce que Dieu commence ce soir traversera et ira jusqu'aux extrémités de la terre. Hallelujah. Now please listen before we sit down. S'il vous plaît écoutez avant que nous ne nous asseyons. In every meeting there are usually two kinds of people. Please lend me your attention. S'il vous plaît prêtez-moi votre attention dans chaque réunion il y a toujours deux types de personnes. Number 1. La première there are those who come with their hearts hungry and desperate to receive. Il y a ceux-là qui viennent avec leur cœur plein de faim et désespéré pour recevoir. There are those who are very intentional. Il y a ceux-là qui sont très intentionnels. Intentional with the prayer. Intentionnel avec la prière. Intentional with the the reception of the word. Intentionnel avec la réception de la parole. These are the kinds of people who never leave any meeting the way they came. Et ce sont de genre de personnes qui ne partent jamais d'une réunion telle qu'ils sont venus. But then sadly there is a second group of people. Et de manière triste il y a un deuxième groupe de personnes who might be merely concerned with just being witnesses of the meeting. Qui se soucient et qui se préoccupent simplement d'être de ne, de ne qu'être des témoins pendant la réunion. Not necessarily recipients of the blessings. Pas nécessairement des récipients de la bénédiction. In every meeting without fail. Dans chaque réunion you sans foi. have these two groups of people. Vous retrouvez toujours ces deux types de personnes. You have honored Jesus. Vous avez honoré Jésus. You have celebrated your men and women of God. Vous avez célébré les hommes et les femmes de Dieu. You have so graciously honored me. Vous avez, vous m'avez gracieusement honoré. My first encouragement for us tonight. Et mon premier encouragement pour nous ce soir. Is that as the word comes. C'est que pendant que la parole est déclarée. Please minimize distraction. S'il vous plaît, minimisez les distractions. Sit with your heart open. Asseyez-vous avec vos cœurs ouverts. Expect to receive. Et attendez-vous à recevoir. Expect to hear. Attendez-vous à écouter. And expect to see. Et attendez-vous à voir. Are we together? Est-ce que nous sommes ensemble? There are things that are heard. There are others that are seen. Il y a des choses qui sont entendues ou écoutées et certaines autres sont vues. 
In Acts chapter 8 and verse 5. Et dans le livre de Actes chapitre 8 verset 5. The Bible says Philip went down to Samaria. La Bible dit que Philippe descendit en Samarie. And then the Bible says he preached Christ unto them. Et là-bas la Bible dit qu'il leur prêcha Christ. The Bible then says that they gave their attention with one accord. Et la Bible dit qu'ils lui prêtèrent leur attention avec un seul accord. Hearing and seeing. Écoutant et voyant. Not just hearing. Pas seulement en écoutant. Hearing. Écoutant. And seeing. Et voyant. The miracles. Les miracles. Which he did. Qu'il a opéré. There is the hearing. Il y a une écoute. But there is the seeing. Et il y a une Alleluia. façon de voir. So I like you to prepare your heart to not only hear alone. Alors je voudrais que vous préparez vos cœurs que vous n'écoutiez pas seulement. But to hear and to see. Mais que vous puissiez entendre et que vous voyez aussi. I've enjoyed such powerful moments of worship by your worship leaders. Je me suis réjoui des puissants moments d'adoration par vos leaders d'adoration. Powerful times of worship. Des moments puissants d'adoration. Now as you hear the word. Et maintenant pendant que vous allez écouter I'd la like parole. Your heart to be open. Que tous vos cœurs soient ouverts. Listen to me. Écoutez-moi. There are some of you who are in ministry. Il y a certains d'entre vous qui êtes dans le ministère. You came here. Vous êtes venus ici. Because there is a higher level of grace you must contact. Parce que vous devez entrer en contact avec un nouveau niveau de grâce. There are some of you here. Il y a certains d'entre vous ici. You are the ones that the baton is coming from the fathers to you. Vous êtes sur qui le bâton. Listen carefully. Cela sur qui le bâton descendra. You would think that the next prophet after Elijah should come from the sons of the prophets. Écoutez, vous pensez que le prochain prophète après les fils d'Élie doit venir des fils d'Élie. But that man was looking for a farmer. Mais ce manteau là cherchait un cultivateur. Elisha was never destined to be a prophet. Élisée n'était jamais destiné à devenir un prophète. The next prophet should come from the sons of the prophet. Le prochain prophète doit venir des fils du prophète. But this young farmer called Elisha. Mais ce jeune cultivateur appelé Élisée. So aligned and pursued destiny. C'est tellement aligné et a poursuivi la destinée. That he carried a double portion of that mantle. Au point où il a reçu la double portion de ce manteau. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There are those who by predestination. Il y a ceux qui par prédestination. There are certain dimensions preordained by God for them to walk in. Il y a certaines dimensions préordonnées par Dieu dans lesquelles ils doivent marcher. Il y a d'autres who by the dexterity of their alignment. Qui par la dextérité de leur alignement. Even though they were not originally in the picture. Même si originellement au départ ils ne faisaient pas partie du plan. Their hunger makes it unfair for God to ignore them. Mais leur faim a, 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 l'a rendu injuste et a poussé Dieu à agir. Now please, I like you to pay attention. S'il vous plaît, je voudrais que vous prêtiez attention. You are about to be immersed. Parce que vous êtes sur le point d'être immergé. In a realm of reality that will truly turn your life forever. Dans cette dimension de réalité qui va complètement bouleverser vos vies. The final thing I say before we sit. Et la dernière chose que je vais dire avant qu'on nous assaye. Hear me, believers. Écoutez-moi, croyants. No matter what realm. Peu importe la dimension. No matter what height. Peu importe la hauteur. No matter what depth. Peu importe la profondeur. I want you to know. Je voudrais que tu saches. That there is always more. Qu'il y a toujours plus. John was already in heaven. Jean était déjà au ciel. And he already began to see the visions of heaven. Et il avait déjà commencé à voir les visions du ciel. And having been given the letters to the seven churches. Et il avait déjà reçu les, 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 les lettres des sept églises. You would think there was nothing else that was left. Et tu peux penser qu'il n'y avait rien d'autre qui restait. And a voice spoke to him. Et une voix lui a parlé. Although in heaven, bien qu'au ciel, come up hither. Monte plus haut. That even in heaven there is still room to come up here. Au point où au ciel il y a toujours de l'espace pour aller plus haut. Please hear me. S'il vous plaît, écoutez-moi. Tonight, like the twenty and four elders. Ce soir, comme les vingt-quatre vieillards. I want you to be unashamed about casting down your golden crown. Je voudrais que tu n'aies pas honte de jeter ta sainte couronne. And pressing for deeper levels. Et que tu avances pour des niveaux profonds. 
Do not allow your ego stop those connected to you from rising. Ne permet pas à ton ego d'empêcher ceux qui sont connectés à toi de se lever. All that we have seen, tout ce que nous avons vu, is not all that there is. N'est pas tout ce qui est. Oh, there can be more in Christ. Oh, il peut avoir plus en Christ. Are we blessed? Est-ce que nous sommes bénis? I like you to listen tonight with 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 a level of determination. Refuse to be distracted. Je voudrais que vous écoutiez ce soir avec un haut niveau de détermination. Refusez d'être distrait. Are we together? Est-ce que nous sommes ensemble? Let me tell you this. Laissez-moi vous dire ceci. I came by the privilege of God's grace. Je suis venu par le privilège de la grâce de Dieu. To join hands with all the servants of God within this land. Pour joindre les mains avec tous les serviteurs de Dieu dans ce pays. That together as a united force. Afin qu'ensemble comme une force unie. God will use us to open a new chapter for Cameroon. Que Dieu nous utilise à ouvrir un nouveau chapitre pour le Cameroun. What you are seeing tonight ce que vous voyez ce soir is a product of the intercession of people who you do not know. Believe what I am pas. telling you. En ce que je te dis. There are wailing women who have come and they have died. Il y a des There qui are sont missionaries who have come and they have died. Il y a des qui the sont Bible says Abel, though la, dead, la Bible dit que Abel yet dit que speaking. Comment. And the blood of people who have died in the gospel in the service of the king is crying unto heaven. Et le sang de ceux qui sont morts mort dans le service du royaume est en train de crier. Let that revival come. Que ce réveil là vienne. So in the next one minute, Alors dans les prochaines une minute, you are going to cry to the Lord. Tu vas crier au Seigneur. And say, Father, this et, move of the Spirit. Et tu vas lui dire, Père, ce mouvement. Let it not be without me. Go ahead and pray. Pray from the depth of your heart. Pray from the depth of your heart. Pray from the depth of your heart. Please go ahead and pray. Pray in the spirit and bless him tonight. Pray in the spirit and bless him tonight. Shabarakus kate prete kete balakatus. Mighty God. Puissant Dieu. Pray. Pray. Everywhere, inside and outside, all the overflows. And for the nations that are following from Africa to Europe to America, connect by faith and pray. Connectez-vous par la foi et priez. Hey, Balakusha, the brand of the Balakusia, the brother. Pray. Pray. In the name of Jesus Christ. Au nom de Jésus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Au nom de Jésus Christ. Now, God bless you. Please be seated. Que Dieu vous bénisse, s'il vous plaît. Vous pouvez vous asseoir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is the will of God la volonté de Dieu that every territory que chaque territoire comes to the saving knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. Parvienne à la connaissance It is the du will Seigneur of God Jésus-Christ. la volonté de Dieu that every territory que tout territoire attains a level of stature and maturity in the spirit. Atteigne un niveau de stature et de mani- de maturité en esprit. Are we together now? Est-ce que nous sommes ensemble maintenant? The Bible says. La Bible dit. It was on account of God's desire to mature believers. C'était le souci de Dieu d'amener les croyants à la maturité. According to Ephesians chapter 4 when you read from verse 8. Selon Ephésiens chapitre 4 quand vous lisez à partir du verset 8. The Bible says when he descended to Hades he led captivity captive and he gave gifts unto men. La Bible dit que quand il descendit dans les puits de l'enfer, il libéra les captifs et il distribua les dons aux hommes. These gifts are not talents. Et ces dons là ne sont pas des talents. These gifts are men. Ces dons là sont les hommes. He gave men. 
to men. Il donna les hommes aux hommes. Some of these men he called apostles. Certains de ces hommes il les a appelés apôtres. Some of these men he called prophets. Certains de ces hommes il les a appelés prophètes. Some of these men he called evangelists. Certains de ces hommes il les a appelés évangélistes. Some of these men he called pastors and teachers. Certains de ces hommes il les a appelés pasteurs. The next verse tells us why he brought them. He says for the maturing. The word perfect in there means the maturing of the saints. Et le prochain verset est pour l'édification des saints. That the saints now matured will do the work of the ministry. Afin que les saints après être devenus matures fassent l'œuvre du ministère. That means in the mind of God the ministers are not the preachers. Ça veut dire que dans la pensée de Dieu les ministres ne sont pas les prédicateurs. The preachers are the gifts that prepare the ministers. Les prédicateurs sont les dons qui préparent les ministres. The ministers are the saints. Les ministres sont les saints. Are we together now? Est-ce que nous sommes ensemble? That the work of the ministry is not preaching on pulpit. Le l'œuvre du ministère n'est pas de prêcher sur le pupitre. Preaching on pulpit is a strategy that was invented to train the ministers. Prêcher sur le pupitre c'est une stratégie qui a été inventée pour former les prédicateurs. I'm not talking on ministry tonight, but ministry has nothing to do with holding a mic and talking to a congregation. Je ne parle pas du ministère ce soir, mais le ministère n'a rien à voir à tenir le micro et parler à une congrégation. Ministry is any activity that is motivated by your love for Jesus and intended to see Him revealed and see Him glorified. Et le ministère de toute activité qui est destinée à any activity at all. Toute activité motivated by your love for Jesus. Qui est motivé par ton amour pour Jésus. And intended to reveal Him. Et qui a l'intention de le révéler. Is called ministry. S'appelle le ministère. So if your marriage Alors, si ton mariage was motivated by love for Jesus, a été motivé par l'amour pour Jésus, and your home is intended to raise children that reveal Jesus, et ton, ton, ton foyer a l'intention d'élever les in enfants the mind of God, Jésus, dans la pensée that de Dieu, act of marriage is ministry. Cet acte de mariage là c'est le ministère. If you're holding a mic, si tu tiens le micro, is motivated by your love for God. C'est motivé par ton amour pour Dieu. And intended to reveal Jesus. Et cela a l'intention de that révéler act Jésus. Of preaching Cet acte de prédication is called ministry. Est appelé le ministère. So it is not the activity that makes it ministry. Alors ce n'est pas l'activité qui fait cela le ministère. It is the motivation. C'est la motivation. And the goal. Et le but you can be preaching tu peux être en train de prêcher and yet not in ministry et pourtant tu n'es pas dans le ministère you can be a worker in church tu peux être un ouvrier dans l'église and yet not be in ministry et pourtant tu n'es pas dans le ministère it is not the activity ce n'est pas l'activité that makes it ministry qui fait de cela le ministère it is the motivation c'est la motivation and the goal et le but if you're with me say amen si vous êtes avec moi dites amen and so conferences like this Alors, des conférences comme celle-ci are designed by God sont faites par Dieu to bring truths pour apporter la vérité that introduce believers qui introduit les croyants within a territory dans un territoire to superior dimensions à une dimension supérieure of spiritual understanding de la connaissance spirituelle listen very carefully écoutez attentivement you need to understand Vous devez comprendre that a territory qu'un territoire cannot do much for the kingdom ne peut pas faire assez pour le royaume until the believers within that territory jusqu'à ce que les croyants dans ce territoire are trained sont formés and then they attain a level of stature and maturity in the spirit et qu'ils atteignent un niveau de stature et de maturité then en then they are empowered by the spirit of god alors ils sont capacités par l'esprit de dieu and then they will represent his purposes across every strata of human activities. Alors ils représenteront ces dessins dans tous les domaines de la vie. And so our conference here. Alors notre conférence ici. Is a journey that we are taking. Est un voyage que nous entamons. From tonight. À partir de ce soir. And until the conference is ended. Et jusqu'à la fin de la conférence. The intention. L'intention. Is to supply by the Spirit. Est de pouvoir par l'esprit. The dimensions of truth. Les dimensions de vérité. And spiritual illumination. Et illumination spirituelle. That it will take. Qui prendra. To unveil the next move of God. Qu'il faut pour dévoiler la prochaine move of God. First in Cameroon. 
Cameroon. And then from Cameroon, et ainsi dans Cameroon, throughout the regions that surround you. Et tout au long des régions, des provinces qui t'entourent. For Apostle Peter said on the day of Pentecost. Car l'apôtre Paul a Pierre a déclaré le jour de la Pentecost. He said, for this promise is unto you. Il a dit car cette promesse pour vous. And to your children. Et vos enfants. And as many as are far off. Et aussi nombreux ceux-là qui sont loin. Even as many as the Lord Himself will call. Même plusieurs que le Seigneur lui-même appellera. Are you learning already? Est-ce que vous me comprenez? Colossians chapter 1 and verse 9. Colossians chapter 1 and verse 9. Colossians chapter 1 verse 9. Colossians chapter 1 verse 9. Colossians chapter 1 verse 9. Apostle Paul was mentoring the church in Colossae, part of his apostolic ministry. And now he began to pray for the church in Colossae. And to desire that they might be filled with three dimensions of knowledge. Number one. The knowledge of his will. La connaissance de sa volonté. Number two. Deuxièmement. All of the dimensions of wisdom. Toutes les dimensions de la sagesse. Because wisdom is multidimensional. Parce que la sagesse est multidimensionnelle. So he is praying that they be filled with all wisdom. Alors il prie pour qu'ils soient remplis de toute la sagesse. And then number three. Et troisièmement. Spiritual understanding. La compréhension spirituelle. Why is understanding very important? Pourquoi est-ce que la compréhension est très importante? Our dominion in this kingdom. Notre domination dans ce Listen royaume. very carefully. Écoutez-moi attentivement. It's a product of our spiritual understanding. Elle est le produit de notre compréhension spirituelle. Are we together now? Est-ce que nous sommes ensemble maintenant? Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 18. Ephésiens chapitre 4 verset 18. Here's what it says. Écoutez ce qu'il dit. Having the understanding darkened. Ayant la compréhension assombrie. It says being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them. Il dit être privé de la vie de Dieu par l'ignorance qui réside en eux. Because of the blindness of their heart. À cause de la cécité, de l'aveuglement de leur cœur. In fact, the Bible lets us know that the assignment of the God of this world. Et la Bible nous fait comprendre que la mission de ce monde. More than afflicting people with sickness. More than bringing poverty and failure. More than bringing weakness. His real assignment is to blind the minds of God's people. So conferences like this. Alors des conférences comme celle-ci. Is a feast of light. Sont une fête de lumière. The assignment of light la mission de la lumière is to make visible. C'est de rendre les choses visibles. The assignment of light la mission de la lumière is to make that which was mystical to become explainable. C'est de démystifier ce qui de rendre ce qui était mystique et l'expliquer à la fin. Are we together now? Est-ce que vous me comprenez? The Bible says that was the true light. La Bible dit que c'était la véritable that lumière. That lighted every man. Qui a illuminé tous les hommes. John chapter 1 and verse 5 says the light shined in darkness. Jean chapitre 1 verset 5 il est dit la lumière brilla dans les ténèbres. And the darkness comprehended it not. Et les ténèbres ne pouvaient pas la contenir. In fact, here's what Isaiah chapter 60 and verse 1 says. It says, Arise. Voici ce que Isaiah 60 verset 1 il dit. Shine. Lève-toi et prie. For thy light is car ta lumière est venue. Not thy light is around. It's always been there. Pas que ta lumière est là tout autour. Elle a toujours été là. But just like faith when it comes to you. Mais juste comme la foi quand elle vient à toi. Then you can arise. Alors tu peux te lever. Are we together? Est-ce que nous sommes ensemble? Now listen very carefully. Écoutez-moi attentivement. I gave this illustration back home. J'ai donné cette illustration chez moi. If a room has been dark for five years. Si une chambre est restée obscure pendant cinq ans. 
If another room has been dark for one year, Et si une autre no light. Est resté dans l'obscurité pendant un an sans lumière. If another room has been dark for two weeks, Et si une autre chambre est restée dans l'obscurité pendant deux If semaines, another room has been dark for one week, Si une autre chambre est restée dans l'obscurité pendant une semaine, If another room has been dark for one hour, Si une autre chambre est restée dans l'obscurité pendant une heure, If the last room has been dark for a few minutes. Si la dernière chambre est restée dans l'obscurité pendant If quelques minutes. If you connect all those dark rooms to the same source of light. C'est pour de connecter toutes ces ténèbres là la source de lumière. The moment you put that bulb, that switch on. À l'instant où tu appuies sur l'interrupteur. Which of the rooms will be on first? Quelle est la lumière qui sera quelle Talk est la to me again. qui sera d'abord illuminée? That means no matter how many years Ça you have been in that realm of darkness, le nombre it does, does not matter whether it is 10 years, whether si it is 5 ans, years, si ans, at the instance of genuine light, except it is not light, if it is light, hear me, light does not factor the fact that darkness has been there for a long time. The moment light comes, it is instant. The moment light comes upon your ministry, sur ton ministère, upon your destiny, sur ta destiny, upon your family, sur ta famille. That age-long captivities that have lasted from generation to generation. Qui captivité qui est passée d'une génération à une autre. At the instance of the word. À l'instant de la parole. It comes to an end. Elle prend fin. Now I like you to be very sensitive. We'll, we'll have a few minutes tonight so that we don't keep us unnecessarily long. Nous allons avoir quelques minutes ce soir pour que nous ne vous retenons pas longtemps. Make a covenant with yourself that all through these sessions you will discipline yourself to not miss any. Fais une alliance avec toi-même en te disant que tout au long de toutes ces sessions, because tu t'assureras de ne manquer aucune. Because of the things that I want to share with you. À cause des choses que je voudrais partager avec vous. Are we together? Est-ce que nous sommes ensemble? For tonight. Pour ce soir. Very briefly. Brièvement. I just sensed in my heart to start with the basics of the Christian faith. Je ressens dans mon cœur de commencer avec les fondements to bring believers de la vie chrétienne. That understanding and that comprehension of what the faith life exactly is about. Pour amener les croyants dans cette compréhension de ce qu'est la vie de foi. In Hebrews chapter 6, dans Hébreux chapitre 6, Apostle Paul again was teaching the Hebrew church. Apôtre Paul encore enseignait l'église. And he said, laying this aside this foundation it poser cette fondation and apostle paul listed six areas that he calls the foundations of the christian faith et apostle paul a, a, a fait la liste de six différentes from repentance from the foundation de la vie chrétienne of the doctrine of baptisms de la the laying on of hands à l'imposition des mains and so on and so forth ainsi de suite he says let us press to perfection il a dit courons vers la perfection so this kingdom has foundations alors ce royaume a des fondements Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So let me teach on the gospel. Laissez-moi enseigner sur l'évangile. It's going to be a very brief teaching understanding the gospel. Ce sera un, ente- un enseignement très bref comprendre l'évangile. This faith life that we have found ourselves in. Listen carefully. Cette vie de foi dans laquelle nous nous sommes retrouvés. Écoutez attentivement. Now, I'm not just speaking to Cameroon, but I'm speaking to Africa. Je ne parle pas seulement au Cameroun, mais je parle à toute l'Afrique entière. As a continent, we have a common heritage. En tant que continent, nous avons un héritage commun. Listen very commun. carefully. Écoutez-moi attentivement. Africa needs to understand the full import of the gospel. L'Afrique a besoin de comprendre le le and le, le plein port de l'évangile and the relevance of the gospel et l'importance de l'évangile if and when completely understood si et, si il est bien compris now I want to be very sincere with you je voudrais être très sincère avec vous we honor and we bless and we salute all of the missionaries that came from across different regions in an attempt to bring the gospel at different points to our soil. Nous bénissons, nous honorons, nous saluons tous les ministères, les, les, les missionnaires qui ont sacrifié But leur I vie et qui ont mené l'évangile dans toutes les extrémités de la terre. Mais je dois vous dire ceci. 
There are dimensions of the gospel that were not captured in that presentation. Il y a des dimensions de l'évangile qui n'ont pas été capturées dans cette présentation. Are we together? Est-ce que nous sommes ensemble? And I can tell you there is only one thing better than the truth. Et je peux vous garantir qu'il n'y a qu'une chose qui soit meilleure que la vérité. The whole truth. La vérité complète. Half truth can be as dangerous as a lie. Une moitié, une vérité dite à moitié peut être aussi dangereuse qu'un mensonge. And I hope you know that Satan does not use a lie to destroy. He et, also uses truth. Et j'espère que vous savez que Satan n'utilise pas le mensonge pour détruire. Il utilise aussi la vérité. Are we blessed? Est-ce que nous sommes bénis? So let's start very quickly with Romans chapter 1 and verse 16. Rom, commençons rapidement avec Romains chapitre 1 verset 16. Romans chapter 1 and verse 16. Romans chapter 1 verse 16. It says, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. It dit, Car je n'ai point honte de l'évangile de Christ. For it is the power of God unto salvation. C'est une puissance de Dieu pour le salut. To everyone that believes. De quiconque croit. To the Jews and then juif, to the Greek. Premièrement, puis du Grec. Now you look up there are certain information that are very important here. Et quand vous levez les yeux, il y a cette information qui sont importantes. Number 1, la première, is a possibility of being ashamed of the gospel. C'est qu'il y a une possibilité de ne pas avoir honte de l'évangile. That if certain ingredients, if certain ingredients are not captured in your understanding of the gospel, it will leave you being ashamed of it. Si si certains ingrédients ne sont pas capturés dans la connaissance de l'évangile, he said, I am not ashamed of the gospel. Gospel of Christ. Je n'ai pas honte de l'évangile de Christ. Because in my understanding of the gospel, I know it as the power of God. Parce que dans ma compréhension de l'évangile de Christ, je le connais. That is unto salvation. La de Christ pour le salut. He says to everyone. The second information we learn here is that the gospel is for everyone. Please say everyone. Did quiconque. Now there are certain blessings and there are certain realities and certain products that are for certain people. Il y a certaines réalités qui appartiennent à certains produits qui, qui appartiennent à certaines personnes. There are products that are for children. Babies. Il y a des produits qui sont pour des bébés pour les enfants. There are products that are for men. Il y a des produits qui sont destinés aux hommes. There are products that are for women. Il y a des produits qui sont destinés aux femmes. There are products that are for a certain age range. Il y a des produits qui sont destinés à un certain âge. But the Bible says this gospel is Mais la for Bible everyone. Dit que cet évangile parlant de tout le monde est pour tout le monde. Are we together now? Est-ce que nous sommes ensemble? The gospel is not for those in the villages. L'évangile n'est pas pour ceux qui sont dans les villages. The gospel is not for those who are poor and impoverished alone. L'évangile n'est pas pour ceux-là qui sont appauvris. Paul in his presentation here teaches us. Paul dans sa présentation ici nous enseigne. That the gospel is for everyone. Que l'évangile est pour tout le monde. So I am not ashamed of the gospel, he says. Alors je n'ai pas honte de l'évangile. For it is the power of God. Car c'est la puissance de Dieu. So there is a relationship between power and the gospel. Alors il y a une relation entre la puissance et l'évangile. One more time, there is a relationship between power and the gospel. Il faut de plus il y a une relation entre l'évangile et la puissance. Power is the ability to cause change. La puissance c'est l'habilité d'apporter un changement. Within a given time, is that true? À un moment précis, est-ce que c'est vrai? That means if your gospel is powerful. Ça veut dire que si ton évangile est puissant. Within time, it should be able to produce constructive results. Dans son temps, il doit être en même de produire des résultats constructifs. First in your life. Premièrement dans ta vie à toi. And then within the territory. Et après dans le territoire. Are you learning now? Est-ce que vous apprenez now, maintenant? Now please look up. Regardez. The Bible lets us know. You see, when 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 you study theology, et vous voyez quand vous étudiez la théologie, there are about six or seven subdivisions of theology. Il y a près de six à sept sous divisions de la théologie. I I will just give two or three for this discussion. Et pour cette discussion, je donnerai deux ou trois. The first that you study when you deal with systematic theology is theology itself. La première avec laquelle tu traites parlant de la théologie systématique, c'est la théologie elle-même. L'étude de Dieu. 
It's where you study the triune nature of God. Who is God exactly? C'est là dans cette théologie là que tu étudies qui est you Dieu. You ask the average Christian, the average church goer. Si tu demandes aux chrétiens moyens. And respectful men of God. Et des femmes de Dieu respectables. Ask a man of God who is God. Demandez à l'homme de Dieu qui est Dieu. And sit back and be ready to be shocked at the answer that comes. Et asseyez-vous et vous serez choqué de écouter les réponses qui viendront. Moses himself confessed when he stood before God. He said, Moïse, who, who will I tell Pharaoh has sent me? Et, et il a dit, qui dirais-je? It is, a, it is a risk to begin this journey if I don't know you. I know the gods that were wizards in Egypt because I grew there. Now if I go to Moses and I tell him that God has sent me, Moses will ask me which one Lequel? What will be my answer? Quelle sera ma réponse? And God told him, "You're a good student." Et Dieu lui a dit que tu es un bon élève. You really need to know who I am. Tu as réellement besoin de connaître qui je suis. Because it is the people that do know their God. Parce que c'est le peuple qui connaît Dieu. Not the one they are told about. Pas ce Dieu dont on leur a parlé. They are the ones who shall be strong. C'est eux qui seront forts. And shall do exploits. Et qui feront des exploits. It is a risk when God is a stranger to you. C'est un risque quand Dieu est un étranger pour toi. Are you learning something tonight? Est-ce que vous apprenez quelque chose ce soir? So you have to study God, the triune nature of God. Then number two. Alors tu dois étudier Dieu pour connaître exactement qui est le deuxième mot. Dimension that is captured in systematic theology is called anthropology. La deuxième dimension qui est capturée dans la théologie systématique s'appelle l'anthropologie. That is the study of man. C'est l'étude de l'homme. Who is man? Qui est l'homme? In fact, yes, how the psalmist put it. What is man? En fait, écoutez comment le psalmiste le dit. Qui est l'homme? Mindful of. Pour que tu te soucies de lui. Man is the object of God's desire and pursuit. He is also the object of Satan's desire and pursuit. L'homme What is in man that both God Dieu. and Satan is interested in? Quelle est cette chose en l'homme qui intéresse Dieu et le diable en même temps? Listen. Écoutez. If you do not understand man, you cannot understand kingdom advance and dominion. Si tu ne comprends pas qui est l'homme, tu ne peux pas comprendre la domination et l'avancement du royaume. Every other thing finds expression on earth because of the presence of this mysterious entity called man. Toute chose trouve son expression sur la terre à cause de cette mystérieuse présence de cette entité appelée l'homme. Now please look up. S'il vous plaît, levez les yeux. Imagine with me that everybody is supernaturally made to lie down and sleep. Imaginez avec moi tout le monde de manière super, de manière surnaturelle et poussé à se coucher et dormir au Cameroun. And not, and not wake up again. Et ne se réveille plus. All the banks can be left open. Toutes les banques peuvent être ouvertes. All the restaurants can be left open. Tous les restaurants peuvent rester ouverts. They can pile all the car keys and drop. On peut amasser toutes les clés des voitures et les déposer. Nothing else will matter again. Et rien d'autre ne comptera plus. The oil mines are still there. Les pétroliers sont toujours the là. The gold mines are still there. Les, les miniers sont là. You only remove one factor. Tu enlèves seulement un seul facteur. Man. L'homme. And every other thing came to a standstill. Et toute autre chose the reason, why, the reason why business works is la, because there is somebody at the end of demand and supply. La raison pour laquelle les affaires marchent, c'est parce qu'il y a quelqu'un à la tête qui demande un fournisseur so it is not just important to know god alone alors ce n'est pas simplement important de connaître dieu seul you must know man tu dois aussi connaître l'homme and then number three and then i'll stop for our whole theological stories et troisièmement je vais m'arrêter pour the third very important study is called christology L'étude la, la plus importante est appelée la Christologie. Now begins to introduce a personality to our understanding. La Christologie commence à nous, nous introduire ou nous présenter une personnalité. Called Jesus Christ. Appelé Jésus Christ. Praise the Lord. Okay. 
let me know if I'm doing something. Okay. It's God. Just help us work on the sound a bit. Thank you. Now, are we together? Let me have your attention. Que nous ensemble, so the Bible lets us attention. know that La we have the reality of God, que nous avons les réalités de Dieu, the reality of man, les réalités de l'homme, and then the Bible now begins to introduce a personality. Et la Bible commence maintenant à nous introduire une personnalité. Scripture tells us that one time there was a young virgin. L'écriture nous dit qu'il y a une fois il y avait une vierge. That this woman was minding her business like every other wonderful lady, happy to be married. Euh, comme toute autre jeune femme qui s'occupait de ses affaires et qui était joyeusement mariée. Married to this visionary man that the Bible calls Joseph. Marié à cet homme visionnaire que la Bible appelle Joseph. And one morning an angel appears to her with a strange salutation. Et un matin un ange lui apparaît avec une salutation étrange. Are we together now? Est-ce que nous sommes ensemble? That he gives her a very strange salutation and says, "Mary, blessed are you among women." Il lui donne une salutation étrange en lui disant, "Marie, tu es bénie par les Highly favored. favorisé. And the Bible records that Mary wondered what salutation this was. Et la Bible nous dit que Marie s'est étonnée de savoir mais quel est ce genre de salutation. And then he began to let her know that she would be with child. Et elle a commencé à lui dire que il a commencé à lui dire qu'elle portera un enfant. And that she should not bother trying to vex the paternity of that child. Et elle ne doit pas se déranger au sujet de la paternité de cet enfant. Because that child would not come from an Father. Parce que cet enfant là ne sera pas le produit d'un père terrestre. Mary, being afraid of being looked at as an irresponsible woman in society, asks a very important question: Marie, How shall these things be, seeing Marie, that I know not a man? Ayant peur d'être considérée comme une femme irresponsable dans la société, s'est posé la question de savoir and comment sera-t-il possible, and puisque the, je ne connais aucun homme. The replies her. Et l'ange ne lui a pas simplement répondu. The power of the highest shall overshadow you. La puissance du très haut te, va te recouvrir. Are we together now? Est-ce que nous sommes ensemble maintenant? And then that you will call that child Jesus.
Others like Mark just start with Jesus even being an adult. Les autres comme Mark ont commencé à Jésus qui était déjà un adulte. Luke traces his genealogy and shows us the details of his humanity. Luke a retracé sa généalogie et nous a donné les détails de son humanité. It was Apostle John that began to give us perspective as to the divinity of this strange child. C'est l'apôtre Jean qui a commencé à nous donner les perspectives sur la divinité de cet enfant étrange. Here's how John starts. Voici comment Jean avait commencé. He says in the beginning. Il a dit au commencement. Was the word. Était la parole. And the word. Et la parole. Was with God. Était avec Dieu. And the word. Et la parole. Was God. Était Dieu. He said the same was in the beginning with God. Il dit la même était au commencement avec Dieu. Are we together now? Est-ce que nous sommes ensemble maintenant? The Bible now says verse 3. La Bible nous dit it says all things. How many things? It is two shows. Now listen carefully. You have to pay attention to this strange personality because it was only his earthly name that was Jesus. He had a name before that. His original name was and is the word. Son, son nom original c'était et était la parole. And the Bible says this word, all things were made by him. Et la Bible déclare que cette parole, toute chose a été faite par elle. And without him, et sans elle, the word without him means out of his, outside his influence or his contribution was not anything made that was made. Le mot sans elle veut simplement dire qu'en dehors de lui. It then de says, sa contribution, tout ce qui existe n'aurait pas été fait. In him was life. Il continue en disant, en lui était la And vie. That life vie. Was the life of men. Et cette vie-là était la lumière des hommes. Are we together? Est-ce que nous sommes ensemble? John now began to speak in chapter 6. We'll deal with this tomorrow. Nous continuerons. I mean chapter 1 verse 6. Chapitre 1 verset 6. He says, Il dit, there was a man. Il y avait un an sent from God envoyé de Dieu whose name was John qui s'appelait Jean that the same came for a witness que le même est venu comme témoin to bear witness of pour, the light pour rendre témoignage de la lumière that all men through him might believe que tous les hommes au travers de lui puissent croire this right here is the corporate mandate of every believer ce que vous voyez là est un, le mandat d'ensemble de tous les croyants. I didn't have time to teach you one of the aspects in theology that you study is called ecclesiology. Where Je you pas now le temps understand de vous the church as an entity. The product of the relationship between this one that would call Messiah his substitutionary sacrifice le and then le the Holy Spirit. Et le Saint -Esprit. Listen. Écoutez. This is the foundation of the gospel that we must understand. Ça c'est la fondation de l'évangile que nous devons comprendre. So Jesus Christ becomes for us now the epicenter of the gospel. Alors Jésus Christ devient pour nous tous maintenant l'épicentre de l'évangile. That means everything about the Christian faith is centered on Jesus. Ça veut dire que tout ce qui concerne la foi de chrétienne est centré sur Jésus. Please look up. S'il vous plaît, levez les yeux. The Christian faith is not centered on miracles. La foi chrétienne n'est pas centrée it is not centered on prophecy. It is not centered on the gifts of the Spirit. It is not centered on men of God, as important as they are. It is not centered on prosperity. It is not even centered on evangelism. It is centered on on Jesus. Elle est centrée sur Jésus. If you tamper with this equation, you will not see the power of God. Si tu portes atteinte à cette équation, tu ne verras pas la puissance de Dieu. If you tamper with this equation in mentoring believers, you will raise something else. You will not raise a pure breed. Si tu portes atteinte à toutes ces choses, si tu vas susciter autre chose, everyone shout the name Jesus. Que tout le monde crie le nom de Jésus. One more time, say Jesus. Il faut de crier sur Jésus. So, alors, he is the center. Il est le centre of the entire Christian faith. De toute la foi chrétienne. The Bible calls this Messiah the author and even the finisher of our faith. La Bible appelle ce Messie le chef et même le consommateur de notre foi. Now listen very carefully. Écoutez attentivement. Every other thing you teach in the kingdom. Toute autre chose que tu enseignes dans le royaume. Only becomes valuable. 
devient valable if it contributes to revealing him si ça contribue à le révéler did you get what i just said est-ce que vous avez that compris means your teaching on prosperity only blesses people if it becomes a means to help reveal him ça your teaching on signs and wonders devient valable si ça aide à le révéler your teaching on signs and wonders only become profitable on if it contributes to revealing him devient profitable ou valable si ça contribue à le révéler any aspect of the christian faith that overshadows jesus is trying to do exactly the same thing lucifer did tout aspect de la foi chrétienne qui essaie de recouvrir jésus fait exactement la même chose que satan veut essayer de faire he must be alpha il doit être l'alpha he must be omega il doit être l'oméga he must be beginning il doit être le commencement he must be the end il doit être la fin one more time say jesus il faut de plus dire jésus not miracles pas les miracles you will experience miracles you should dwell in that realm tu vas expérimenter les miracles tu dois résider dans not ce signs règne. and wonders pas la puissance pas les signes not les a job and breakthrough pas le travail ou l'emploi et la percée now, don't get me wrong i don't i'm not downplaying those things si but i'm me rearranging me. the order of things je ne méprise pas cette chose mais je réarrange les choses me if the moi. scope of your christian experience is power or cast or deliverance or prosperity or prophecy minus Jesus that is another religion I will tell you why we are not experiencing the power and the glory of God like we should la raison pour laquelle nous n'expérimentons pas la puissance et la gloire de Dieu comme nous le devons. Because we have replaced the position of Jesus. Parce que nous avons remplacé la position de Jésus. With many things. Avec beaucoup de choses. Are you together now? Est-ce que nous sommes ensemble? Write this down. Notez ceci. What is the gospel? C'est quoi l'évangile? Just let me a few minutes and we'll pray and be done tonight. Donnez-moi encore quelques minutes, nous allons prier et nous aurons terminé pour ce soir. Three people who will shout now by the power of God. Il y a trois personnes. I just saw that light. Je viens de voir just, cette lumière. Trois personnes no, qui on. vont crier par yes. la puissance de three Dieu. Three people. The power of God is coming on three people right la now. La puissance Bring de Dieu out. descend sur trois personnes maintenant. Hala shaleke parus kadi branda kala shibra haskidi ata shibrendi zezi keti ala subaya. It's a new season for you. C'est une nouvelle saison pour vous. There is someone here. Il y a quelqu'un ici. There is that calling of the prophetic. Il y a cet appel I'm du seeing prophétique. an ignition. There, there is a new wine. Je vois un nouveau now vin. that is coming on you. Please bring Il them out. Sure. Please help them. Whether you are an usher or not, just help them. Young lady, help that lady. Lift your hands. Take that grace. In the name of Jesus Christ, take it out. Please do not miss any aspect of this meeting. Arente Sali Kado Shada. Gradida Bushiata. There's a gentleman here, the spirit of prayer and supplication. Such a mantle. It is a dimension of the prophetic call. You have seen it in your dreams. You have had it as encounters. Right now, that, that, that fire is coming upon your destiny. Coming upon your destiny. There are women that are rising from this conference with, with the grace of Deborah, such unction by the Spirit. Right now, as I speak, there is fire from heaven that is coming upon them. It's an ignition of the Spirit. Go ahead and pray in the Spirit right there. I don't know who this woman is. Madame, look at me. Tap her for me. 
I'm seeing oil coming on her head. Take that place. In the name of Jesus Christ. You will step into new realms in the spirit. I am not ashamed of the gospel, he says, for it is the power of God. The power of God. The power of God. La puissance de Dieu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who is Gideon? Qui est Gideon. Gideon. I'm en hearing the name Gideon. Et Gideon en français. Is there someone with that name? Gideon. Gideon. Qui s'appelle Gideon? Gideon. 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 Well, I'm looking at you. I'm going to pray for you. We'll be je vais prier shortly. pour toi. But I'm looking at you. Mais je te regarde. And, and I'm seeing you put your hand in something that looks like a pool of water. Where do you walk? Et je te vois mettre les mains dans une piscine d'eau. That's what je I'm saying. Là où on produit I don't know que je dis. Stand up. Mets-toi debout. I want to pray for you because God is opening strange doors. Je veux prier pour toi parce que Dieu t'ouvre des portes étranges. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please hold carefully and bring them here. There are three people who will start running right now by the anointing. Hold them and just bring them carefully, whether you are an usher or not. The power of God is coming on them. La puissance de Dieu descend sur eux. Anina shanega delega de brande ge barakosiada. Shanina sadi branda kakosha da brakeske de baleka tosiada. New season, new season. The Lord is granting us grace to correct our understanding. Le Seigneur nous accorde de la grâce pour corriger notre You are the man that came and sang here. Tu es l'homme qui est venu chanter ici. Lève les mains. Stand up. Are you a music artist? What do you do? Que fais-tu? Ah? I will pray for you because you are stepping into a new dimension. Je vais right prier now. pour toi parce que tu entres dans une nouvelle dimension. I want to pray for you. Je What's vais prier pour toi. I want to pray. You believe in the power of the Holy Spirit? Just lift your hands. I stretch my hands. May that anointing come upon you. Take that grace now. Shift to a new level in the spirit. Va à in the name of Jesus en esprit au nom de Jésus. Listen, I like you to pray and cry that the mantle that has been allocated for you in this conference, that it must rest upon your life. Go ahead and pray. Pray in one minute. Don't be distracted. Pray. Mighty God. For you will never be the same. Vous ne serez never plus be the same. Hallelujah. 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 I'll pray for you and we'll wrap up. I'm seeing a lady here. Your father is a politician. Je vois une jeune femme ici. Ton père est un politicien. Your father is a politician. Ton père know. est un politicien. I don't know who that person is. The Lord is showing me a lady whose Je father ne sais pas qui est concerné. Le Seigneur me is a politician. Dont le papa est un politicien. And the Lord is asking me to pray for that lady's father. Et le Seigneur me demande de prier pour le père de cette femme. Whether you are here or you are outside. Que tu sois à l'intérieur ou à l'extérieur. Wherever you are, I want to pray for you. Quel que soit là où tu te trouves, je veux prier pour toi. It's a supernatural miracle that God wants to do. Il y a un miracle surnaturel que Dieu veut opérer. 
Lena Bashali Saliga Branda Gadosa di Alata. Fire is falling in this place. Le feu descend en cet endroit. Right at the back. À I rien. just I just saw fire Je just falling on people. Feu. Right to the back. And the Lord is saying it's a separation. God is separating people within this land and within this territory. Lord, where are they? 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 In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit. May that grace, that grace come upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. For your father, my dear, I pray. Listen, it is not only your father God is helping for you too. God is going to start granting you access to dreams and revelations. I release that grace upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. My friend, tap that gentleman, lift your hands. I saw coming on you. Take that grace now. In the name of Jesus Christ. My sister. My sir. Yes, that lady. Just where you are. Not the one lifting her hands. Just keep her there. I saw oil coming on you and the Lord is saying you are stepping into a new season. Take that grace now. The name of Jesus Christ. Go ahead everyone. Pray in the spirit in one minute. Pray in the spirit in one minute. Pray the spirit in one minute. Outside, inside. Pray the spirit in one minute. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For all of you who are out here, I decree and declare over you by the power that raised Christ from the dead fresh fire upon you in the name of Jesus young lady the Lord is going to use you mightily 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 such an anointing will come upon your life and God will work wonders with your life Listen, this is not the display of a powerful man of God. The days of superstar Christianity is over. This is a revelation of Jesus Christ. A revelation of the possibilities that can come when vessels become truly yielded. Yielded in power and yielded in grace. What do you do, my friend? Are you a pastor? Come. Where? Huh? What's the name of your church? I want to pray for you. There is a dealing. Stand up. There is a dealing that you're going to start going through with the Holy Spirit. And after that, He will empower you. But for now, that grace is coming on you. Take that fire now. In the name of Jesus Christ. You will never never be the same in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands and I declare the blessings of heaven upon you and I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit for all of you who have come out here by the Spirit return with fire from heaven return with grace from heaven you will never be the same I open you to realms of visions and realms of the prophetic in the name of Jesus who is the Christ of God and in your rising may the kingdom find expression in Jesus name I pray in Jesus name I pray hallelujah please those who can they can return to their seats please sit down just give me 10 minutes or so let me tonight we're just putting a foundation in place please tomorrow I want you to invite everyone if there is no space even if it means they will sit on the zinc they should stay there 
it is, it is an encounter the over the land. God is bringing, he's measuring a thousand cubits to open us to deeper levels in the spirit. Wearing baby pink, I'm seeing oil coming on her head. Cette femme là, je vois l'huile descendre sur sa tête. Je ne sais pas qui vous êtes, madame. But I'm seeing that fire coming on you. Mais je vois And the Lord is saying He's opening you up to a season of intercession, intercession and power in the spirit. You don't have to bring her out. No. In the name of Jesus, you will drink of that wine. something what is the gospel please write Nous it down en train de ce est what is the gospel quoi write this down Notez ceci. according to scripture Selon les there are are seven different expressions of the gospel Il y a sept de but for the purpose of this conference, Mais pour le but de cette conference there are two of them that are most important for our discussion the first is called the gospel of salvation le premier du salut. and the second for this conference is called the gospel of the kingdom Et le deuxième pour cette euh, conférence est appelé Jesus du himself Jésus lui-même made discussions that related to this dimension a eu des discussions qui étaient connectées à cette dimension for tonight pour ce soir let's discuss the gospel of salvation parlons de l'évangile du salut please write s'il vous plaît écrivez the gospel of salvation l'évangile du salut is the revelation est la révélation of the love of the father De la loi, de du Père. Please give us John chapter 3 and verse 16. The Donnez gospel Jean, chapitre 3, verse 16. of salvation du salut is the revelation, est la revelation of the love of the Father. De du Père. Revealed Revelé. in and through the substitutionary sacrifice. Dans le sacrifice de substitution. Understand this. Let me start again. That, ceci, je vais that the gospel of salvation que du salut is a revelation of the love of the Father est une de du Père revealed in and through the substitutionary sacrifice par le sacrifice de substitution of Jesus Christ. De Jesus Christ. The object of that love De cet amour and that sacrifice et de ce sacrifice being man et then the entire creation et après toute la création tout entière so what i'm saying is that the gospel of salvation ce que je suis en train de dire c'est que l'évangile du salut the revelation of the love of the father est une révélation de l'amour du père thank you thank you the revelation of the love of the Father est une révélation de l'amour du Père revealed in and through the substitutionary sacrifice révélé par le sacrifice de substitution of Jesus Christ de Jésus Christ the object of that love l'objet de cet amour being man étant l'homme and by extension the entire creation et par extension toute la création if you entière. do not understand this you are not a Christian si tu ne comprends pas ceci alors tu n'es pas un chrétien here's what the Bible says ce que la Bible dit. John 3 16. Jean, chapitre 3, verse 16 for God so loved Cameroon for God so loved Africa for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son now let me explain something very quickly at the time this was happening Jesus was his only begotten son but today he's not his only begotten son he's the first begotten among we the brethren are we together now 
So he gave at the time his only begotten son. Il a donné à cette époque, à ce moment, son Here is the condition. Voici la condition that whosoever afin que believes in him qui croit en lui should not perish ne point, but have everlasting life. Mais ait la vie now, this is not a pastor's conference and I don't intend to create any confusion. Et ça, the word everlasting is not an accurate presentation there. Le mot éternel n'est pas une présentation exacte. Now, primarily là. speaking, the Old Testament was written in Hebrew. Le, 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 L'Ancien Testament a été écrit au départ And the New en Testament Hebrew. was a combination of Greek and Aramaic. Et le Nouveau Testament était une combinaison du grec et de l'araméen. Are we together now? Est-ce que nous sommes ensemble? And so chances are that they pick words that seem to give the best expression. But the life that Jesus came to give us is not everlasting life. Everlasting life just means life without ending. La vie éternelle veut simplement dire une vie sans fin. Everyone on earth has everlasting life. Toute personne sur la terre a une vie éternelle. When you die, you don't stop living. Quand tu meurs, tu n'arrêtes you pas de vivre. change dimension. Tu changes simplement de dimension. Remember the story of the rich man and Lazarus. Et souviens-toi de l'homme de l'histoire de l'homme When riche both de of Lazare. them exited this realm. Quand uh, tous les deux sont sortis they de were cette still dimension. Alive. Ils étaient toujours vivants. So the life that Jesus came to give us Alors la vie que Jésus est venu is nous donner more than everlasting life. est plus que la vie éternelle. Now let me give a disclaimer. Don't go around castigating any man of God and pointing fingers when you hear them say everlasting life. Non, this non. is just intelligence because of this conference. Ça c'est juste de l'intelligence que je donne à cause de cette conférence d'aller pas ça et là qui dit que les de Dieu qui parle de la vie éternelle. Let me use the ensemble? opportunity and teach you something. Laissez-moi the, utiliser l'opportunité pour vous enseigner quelque chose. The hallmark of revelation, the hallmark of transformation is not knowledge, it is love. La marque de la révélation, de la connaissance, ce n'est pas n'est pas la connaissance mais l'amour. More than superior enlightenment, you must have love. Plus au-delà de, de la l'illumination supérieure, tu dois avoir l'amour. So that as you access deeper and higher spiritual realities. Afin que pendant que tu as accès à des réalités élevées it, et spirituelles, it should not be a basis for criticizing and tearing down others. Ça ne doit pas être la base pour toi pour déchirer et critiquer les autres. You must have love enough to allow people grow. The same way God was patient with you till you grew. Tu dois avoir suffisamment d'amour pour attendre que cela puisse croître de la même manière. Now please look up. S'il vous plaît, levez les yeux. The gospel of salvation. L'évangile du salut. Attempts to reveal to man the extent of love the Father has for him. Essaye de révéler à l'homme l'étendue de l'amour que le Père a pour lui. And he proved that love by giving Jesus. Et il a prouvé cet amour en donnant Jésus. Why did Jesus come? Pourquoi there, est-ce que Jésus est venu? There are three basic reasons why Jesus came to earth. Il y a trois raisons principales pour lesquelles Jésus Let me give it to you and we'll round up for tonight. Laissez-moi vous les donner, nous allons conclure. Number ce one. Soir. La première. The first reason why Jesus came to earth la was première raison pour laquelle il est venu est as a correction of our understanding about God. Était pour la correction de notre compréhension au sujet de Dieu. Jesus came to the earth. Jésus est venu sur la terre to help men understand God more. Pour aider les hommes à plus comprendre Dieu. The Bible calls him the express image of the invisible God. La Bible l'appelle l'image même du Dieu invisible. Because you see, until Jesus came, Parce que vous voyez, ce que je, je there was no possibility of knowing God to the depth that we now have. Il n'y avait pas de possibilité de connaître Dieu dans la profondeur que nous avons maintenant. And so there were many things that were done by men, many things done by the opinion of prophets, and some of them were outright, they were extra biblical spiritual practices. But every other person credited it to God because anything that happened higher than their realm of science, they called it God. Parce que toutes les autres choses ont été faites par l'opinion des hommes, par leurs émotions et tout le monde a accrédité cela à Dieu. Are we together? Est-ce que nous sommes ensemble? So Jesus came as an expression. Jésus est donc venu comme une expression. He came as a marking script. Il est venu comme un script écrit. To, 
to help us compare what we have known about God with his life. So if the Bible says God is great, we have a right to question that statement until we find greatness expressed in Jesus. If God says, I have loved you with an everlasting love and I have drawn you with my loving kindness, we have a right to question that statement until we check that love revealed in Jesus. So from the woman at the well, to publicans and sinners Jesus was about revealing the reality of the fact that the father loves his creation the second reason why Jesus came was he came as a substitutionary sacrifice to reconcile the fallen man back to God because there is a law written that without the shedding of blood there cannot be the remission of sin so he came Alors il est venu as that lamb comme cet agneau -là. he came il est venu as the high priest also comme le souverain sacrificateur who will aussi. offer that lamb qui offrira cet now please look up Regardez. in ancient times the age of the lamb Determine the validity of the atonement. According to the Mosaic law, the lamb had to be one year old. Because the atonement would only last one year and they would do it again. So when Jesus became the lamb and poured his blood and also became the high priest that took that blood to the heavenly tabernacle the Bible teaches us. When he shed his blood the age of the one who died equals to how long we have been atoned for and the one who died is called the ancient of days that is how powerful his substitutionary sacrifice was are we together Jesus came Jesus is venu as a substitutionary sacrifice Comme un sacrifice de substitution. to reconcile man back to God Pour reconcilier à Dieu. the third reason why Jesus came La troisième raison pour laquelle Jésus est venu. listen very carefully Écoutez attentivement. he came to bet this strange entity Il est venu donner naissance à cette entité étrange that would become the express representation of his counsel on earth qui deviendra l'expression the name of that entity is called the church the church we are going to be dealing with this tomorrow nous allons en parler demain. the first definition of the church is a spiritual strategy the church is not just men the, structure, the church is an invention it is, it is a strategy that was invented as the final solution to demonstrate the dominion of light over darkness are we blessed? now please look up all over Cameroon there are people today who have not met this Jesus they have met the universities Ils ont rencontré les universités. They have met business centers. Ils ont rencontré des centres d'affaires. They have met money. Ils ont rencontré de l'argent. Some have met men of God. Certains ont rencontré des hommes de Dieu. Some have met political positions. Certains ont rencontré des oppositions politiques. But they have not met Jesus. Mais ils n'ont pas rencontré Jésus. Listen to me. Écoutez-moi. The greatest need of a non-believer is not education. 
the greatest need of an unbeliever. Le plus grand besoin d'un I like to use the word unbeliever because the Bible says all have seen. The greatest need of an unbeliever is not sponsorship. It's not scholarship. The greatest need of an unbeliever is an encounter with the life of God. And the Bible says that life of God comes by encountering Jesus. So anywhere you see an unbeliever, no matter what you give that person, if Jesus is not part of that gift, you really did not bless that person. Tomorrow I'm going to be teaching you that the greatest need of a believer is transformation. And the greatest need of a transformed believer is empowerment. And the greatest need of an empowered believer is character. The greatest need of an unbeliever le plus grand besoin d'un non croyant is salvation c'est le salut the greatest need of a new believer le plus grand besoin d'un nouveau croyant is transformation that comes through discipleship and renewal c'est la transformation qui vient par le disciple the greatest need of a transformed believer le plus grand besoin d'un croyant transformé is the engracing to now demonstrate the things that you and because empowerment can create pride the greatest need of an empowered believer is character particularly humility so everyone in this place there is something you have to receive if you are an unbeliever the first gift for you is salvation if you are a new believer the next gift for you is transformation if you are a transformed believer then you need to stop presenting a theoretical Jesus you need empowerment if you are an empowered believer you are an endangered species because chances are that men will so clap you into your downfall you will have to learn the power of character the gospel so if I go to work tomorrow and I meet this brother the moment I discern that this gentleman is an unbeliever the most important project in his life above every other thing you can do to this man is to ensure he encounters Jesus you see with this revelation evangelism no longer becomes a church project it is not something just to get more membership in a church question question how many people around your environment and around Cameroon are yet to encounter Jesus, the Son of the Living God? If we want to preserve revival si nous le réveil, and we want to see the power of God permeate our territories, et nous voir la puissance de Dieu notre territoire, if we want to bring an end to the corruption and the decadence that eats up society, si nous it starts with salvation. Ça commence avec le salut. Can I tell you the truth? Est-ce que je dis la vérité? Every armed robber, every terrorist, every troublemaker in society came from a family. Tout brigand, tout voleur, tout terroriste est issu d'une société. And if we do not take the message of salvation to every family and every region 
the person you ignore his salvation will be the one used by the devil to destroy you try to destroy your children et si tu ne prends pas le message du salut pour l'amener vers ces gens là cette personne que tu ignores sera cette personne que le diable utilisera pour te détruire et détruire tout le reste are we together est-ce que nous sommes ensemble no matter what else you know about the christian faith peu importe ce que tu connais au sujet de la foi chrétienne. You must be able to defend your understanding of Jesus. Tu dois être en même de défendre ta compréhension de Jésus. Do not know more about miracles than you know about Jesus. Ne connais pas plus les miracles que tu ne connais Jésus. Do not know more about visions and the prophetic than you know about Jesus. Ne connais pas plus les visions et les prophéties que tu connais au sujet de Jésus. Cameroon. Cameroon. As a first contact tonight. Comme étant le premier contact ce soir. I present to you. Je vous présente Jesus. Jesus. I present to you Je vous présente the King of Kings, le roi des rois, the Lord of Lords. Le Seigneur, le Seigneur. I present to you Je vous présente the mediator of the new covenant. Le médiateur de la I present to you Je vous présente the Alpha, Alpha Omega. Et Omega. I present to you Je vous présente not the founder of a religion, not the founder of a better religion. Not the one who leads 2.6 billion people on earth. No. I present to you the word of God who became flesh, who died, who resurrected by the power of the Holy Spirit, who is today seated at the right hand of the Father. I present to you the head of the church more than every overseer more than every president more than every prophet and apostle I present to you Jesus I present to you the one who has been exalted above every other name above thrones and dominions and every name that is named Listen. No matter how long you have been in church. No matter how many Christian names you have. No matter what else you have in this life. The guarantee. La guarantee to your living a meaningful life here on earth. Pour que tu vives une vie qui en sens sur la terre. And then victory over death. Et avoir la victoire sur la mort. Is Jesus. C'est Jésus. Oh, degree cannot resurrect you after this life. Political position cannot resurrect you after this life. Nothing else has power over and above the grave. Now listen. I apologize for the time. Just lend me five minutes and we're done. Je suis désolé pour le temps. Donnez-moi juste cinq minutes. Scattered within this place tonight and outside the overflows. Regardez dans cette salle ce ce soir et même à l'extérieur. There are men and women here who are saying, "Apostle." Il y a des hommes et des femmes qui disent ce soir, "Apostle." I have met preachers. J'ai rencontré des prédicateurs. Apostle. Apostle. I have met businessmen. J'ai rencontré des hommes d'affaires. I have met churches. J'ai rencontré des églises. I have met sermons. I have met conferences. Et je suis allé à des conférences. But tonight, Mais ce soir, more than them all, plus que tous, I desire to encounter je désire avoir une rencontre Jesus, avec Jésus, the Son of the Living God. Le Fils du Dieu vivant. Listen to me. Écoutez-moi. You may be here. Tu peux être ici. And whilst you sat in this atmosphere, from the worship to my teaching. Et pendant que tu étais assis sous cette atmosphère the Holy de Spirit began to minister to you. Le Saint Esprit a commencé à te rendre ministère. That it is time que cette fois to begin a real and intentional relationship with Jesus. Que c'est le temps pour toi de commencer une relation véritable et intentionnelle avec Jésus. There are others. Il y a des autres who at one point or the other you remember having an encounter with Jesus. Qui à un point à un moment donné se souvient d'avoir eu une rencontre avec But Jésus. But the vicissitudes of life just beat down your passion and it's like your life just went haywire. Mais les troubles de la vie ont tellement rabattu ta vie et ta vie est sortie de la trajectoire. And tonight you are saying I need that restoration. Et ce soir tu dis j'ai besoin de cette restauration. I do not want 
to misrepresent Jesus to my generation. Je ne voulais, je ne voulais pas mal représenter Jésus à ma that génération. you want a real and a genuine relationship with Jesus. Tu veux une relation véritable et authentique avec Jésus. Now please listen. S'il vous plaît, écoutez. Whether you are outside que tu sois à Whether you are inside, que tu sois à any other overflow and following online, que soit là où tu te trouves, you genuinely want to start this journey with Jesus. Tu veux réellement commencer ce voyage avec Jésus. The Jesus. journey of encounter with Jesus, salvation, new birth. Le voyage de la rencontre avec Jésus du salut et For de la nouvelle naissance. For the sake of time, I'm going to count one to five. À cause du temps, je vais compter de un jusqu'à Wherever cinq. you are, listen. Que soit là où tu te trouves, Please écoute. make sure you do not come and don't don't um don't match on any of our dear people here and let's give them the honor in front but i want you to run like there's fire on the mountain please stand up for the sake of space don't kneel down stand so that other people will come i will count one to five run and come and stand to jesus here i'll begin my counting one apostle i'm tired of this the way that i've lived my life it's time to take Jesus seriously. Run to Jesus. Two. I'll count to five and I'll begin to pray. Please make sure you understand what you are doing. Cameroon, is this how you celebrate salvation? Three. Don't sit back there when the Holy Ghost is talking to you. That you need to make it right with Jesus. To have victory both in this life and in the life to come. Four. Hallelujah. Now listen to me. I salute all of you who have come here. I'm very touched. Some of you are crying, young and old. Listen. Some of you, the power of God is already strong on you here. Listen to me. Jesus said, whoever will come to him, that he will in no wise cast away. You have come tonight because you've heard this message. The first dimension of Christianity and the gospel is the message that saves. For I am not ashamed of the gospel. It is the power of God unto salvation for everyone that believes. I remember many years ago standing to witness such massive salvation in a Reinhard Bunker crusade. And I saw that man who has today joined the cloud of witnesses shouting his heart out over Africa and calling them to Jesus. Now, whether you like it or not, someday this life will be over. It is true. And will be open to another vista of reality. Et nous serons donc exposés à une autre dimension de vie. And the only basis for your victory outside this life. Et la seule base de ta victoire en dehors de cette vie. Will be your oneness with Jesus. Sera ton unité avec Jésus. I salute every one of you who is standing here. Lift your right hand high Je salue above your head. Je salue chacun d'entre vous qui est ici. Levez votre main droite au dessus de votre tête. Don't be ashamed of your tears. N'est pas honte de tes larmes. I want you to pray this prayer from the depth of your heart. You're not reciting a poem. Are you ready? Say after me, Lord Jesus. Say it again. Say, Lord Jesus. Tonight, I have heard your word. I believe with my heart that you died for me. I believe that you rose again for my justification. Tonight, I accept you as my Savior, as my Lord, and as my King. 
I declare, je declare that I am a recipient, que je suis un recipient of eternal life. De la vie éternelle. I declare, je declare that the power que la puissance of sin, du péché, of Satan, de Satan, of hell, de and of the grave et de la is broken over my life by the authority of scripture I declare that from today and forever I am a child of God Amen keep your hands lifted Father thank you for the miracle of the gospel and its power to save thank you because you are able to save unto the uttermost Father tonight there are people crying out on this stage in genuine repentance and brokenness and according to the authority of scripture I declare their sins forgiven in the name of Jesus I commend you to the ministry of the word and I commend you to the ministry of the Holy Spirit may you be grounded and established in righteousness from today I declare that you go forward ever and backward never in Jesus name amen and amen are there counselors Okay, here's what I want you to do for me. I know that there are um, so many people, but I want you to just follow the counselor waving his hands. Please, all of you in concert. Just a few minutes with you and you'll be back to your seat. Hallelujah. Let's celebrate them as they go in concert. Hallelujah. Now, please just listen to this instruction. By the privilege of God's grace, we are here again tomorrow. And I want you to come with your heart open, invite everybody. I will be showing you, I will be showing you a few things from scripture. And then tomorrow we'll have some time to pray in the morning and build capacity in the spirit. Et je vous montrerai Hallelujah. Choses dans les Praise Nous the name of the Lord. And then, and then, if your man of God allows, Et si votre homme de Dieu le permet, then tomorrow night will be a miracle service. Demain soir sera dans un service de miracle. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And at his permission, if he does allow, Et avec sa permission, si le permet, then I will request that everyone, I want you to write everything that has attempted to mock God in your life. Et je que tu toute chose and que by essayé tomorrow de night, whether for you or for your loved ones, que ce soit pour toi ou pour tes we are going to have this request here. Nous voir avant and let the God that answers by fire, Et que le Dieu qui par let le him feu, be God indeed. Soit Dieu are we together on that? Que nous for tonight, I declare the Lord bless you. Et ce soir, je déclare May the hand of the Lord rest upon you. Shout Amen. You go from glory to glory and from grace to grace. In the name of Jesus. I declare that tonight is a night of encounter. Angelic encounters. Supernatural encounters. For some of you, your prayer life that you've lost is resuming tonight. Your word study life that has gone down is resuming tonight. Fresh grace upon your life. In Jesus' name I pray. Give Jesus a big hand clap. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. Alaska de Basca Nakata Branda Katekato Kate Branda Katapa Kotosko to break a take a legata. The face of development, Lord, grant me the discipline.